Hey everyone. Hope you're having a great morning. Yes, you've guessed it. I'm down here again at Bondi Beach. And look at that statue. Sculptures by the sea seems to be on at the moment, so I think there's a whole heap of them up and around the Bondi to Bronte walk. Ah, but of course, that's not why I've jumped on live today. The topic today is, uh, how did I write that? It's what you do when nobody's watching that counts. That's right. I was just thinking about this one the other day. It was quite a, a key one as I was reflecting on my journey and what I've been doing. Hey buddy, hope all is going well, Anton. Um, so yeah, reflecting on my journey in the last year and everything like that and just where things are moving forward and what's, what's to come. And I can't remember what else it was. It was another book or something that sort of spurred it on. But when you start to think about, you know, sitting there and looking at, at somebody else and wanting the same results. But the thing is, is we don't know what they're doing when nobody's watching. You know, I'm talking about on a Friday night, everybody's out at the clubs or out at the bar. Um, you know, what are they doing? And I guess at the same time, like, what are you doing? Like, what are the things that you really want in life? What are those goals you want to achieve? And what are you doing, as I said, when nobody's watching? Hey, Sarah. Uh, you know, over the last year, I've been putting in a lot of work on myself. Personal development is, is one of the key things. Now, I started a, a traditional uh, university degree some years ago. I started out doing my engineering degree. And actually, I started it twice. Um, but what I decided at the end when I decided to pull the pin on it um, the second time round was the fact that I finished the first year with a really good score, uh, distinction average, because I'm not a, well, that's a story, but in the past I've tended not to put my mind to things academically. So I looked at the result that I got in that first year of my engineering degree and went, you know what, I can do something if I put my mind to it. You know, and that's key. We can all do something, whatever it is that we want to achieve, if we actually put our mind to it. And the decision that I made when I walked away from the university degree back then in, uh, I think it was 2012. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. I appreciate it. Amina, I hope I said that correctly. Um, the, whilst I stepped away from a traditional education system, I stepped into what is probably becoming more of a traditional education system these days, and that's all about personal development. It's all about personal growth, reading books, putting in the time and effort to start to understand yourself a lot more. So over the last, truly probably over the last three years, I've spent a lot of Friday nights, Saturday nights at home, reading books or doing other online activities and things like that with personal development, watching YouTube videos, understanding myself more, growing and learning because it's what you do when nobody's watching that counts. You know, I guess a good example, you look at things like these overnight successes. There's no such thing as an overnight success. These people have been hustling their way working hard when everybody else is partying and that's why they have the results. And I started to see for myself a couple of years ago that I wasn't where I wanted to be. And I have that vision in my mind as to where I want to be. And I can assure you right now, as I stand here today, that I'm on that path and I am not that far away anymore. <clears throat> but all through, as I just crossed the street here, 
all through the last couple of years, it's been key for myself to really put in the effort and the time to learn and grow for myself so that I was ready and I was prepared. And at first, sure, not going out on a Friday night, Saturday night because your friends are going out can definitely seem uh, upsetting or frustrating or like you're missing out, the good old FOMO thing, you know, as we all seem to struggle with. Hey, Raph, how you going, bud? But the thing is, at the end of the day, the person that you grow into through putting that time into yourself and growing, you're going to start to see the results and it's going to start to escalate it and everything along those lines. So you're going to start to appreciate all of the time and the efforts that you've been putting in. So I'm just going to take a small break there and just show you this lovely view and then we'll get going again. You know, there's a good old, uh, one of the personal development videos, I can't remember what it is, which one it is, but it compares how we all have the same 24 hours in the day. You know, whether you're Oprah Winfrey, or whether you're Ted Turner, or you're, you know, just an, I guess an average Joe. We all have those 24 hours, we just ends up, the results change because of the priorities and the, the commitments that we make to ourselves. You know, are you putting your personal growth and your life's journey as a priority to instant gratification and going out partying? Now, at the same time, I'm not saying go, don't go out partying because we all love to party and we all got to let our hair down as well. But having that equal balance so that you are starting to achieve those goals and everything like that, that's what really counts. Another thing that just came to mind that I wanted to share earlier in this Facebook Live, which I realized that I haven't done, was the other one if, as I said in a previous Facebook Live, there are so many people watching. Now, when people are watching, it is, it is a lot easier to do the work, to put in the effort, to you know, show up in those, in those ways. But as I said, the strength comes to when you're doing that without looking for gratification, without looking for any sort of recognition, without looking for anything along those lines. And, you know, at the end of the day, you'll get the gratification, you'll get the, the job, you'll get the, the income, you'll get the business, you'll get whatever it is that you're actually striving towards. And that will be the satisfaction that you've been longing for for so long. So I also appreciate that, you know, personal development is something that is new to, new to many people as well. So, you know, I respect that you may not know where to start. And look, I was the same when I started to get into personal development many years ago. Hey, Tim. <laughs> um, so I want to also encourage you that if you're watching this, and you're unsure where to start in a personal development journey. Hey, Alex. Or, you know, what is personal development or anything along those lines? Then I want you to reach out to me and shoot me a message and I'll give you some support in that area. Because at the end of the day, we're all physically the same. It's up here that, that differs. And again, coming back to another Facebook Live that I did, and if you haven't seen it, it was talking about when was the last time you challenged your thoughts. And I go check that out because <laughs> good, good to see Alex. Hopefully you don't get in trouble at work. <laughs> um, yeah, when was the last time you challenged your thoughts? This is all talking about the mental game. So that's what really, really counts. And that's what personal development is going to give you. That's what putting in the time and effort when nobody's watching is going to give you and 
you know, it's going to work towards that, I guess, a greater happiness is the way that I look at it. Because when you're whole and complete in yourself, you're not looking for an outside source to try and complete you. You're looking for things to complement you, but not complete. So, yeah, you know, I guess a good example tonight, it's Friday night. I've got a webinar booked at, at 8 p.m. with a coach. Um, so, you know, these are sort of things that I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm going to be at home. I'm going to be reading some books. I'm going to be doing some work and all of that. So instead of going out and partying because the end game that I'm going towards is far more important than going out tonight and partying. So as I said, guys, I'm going to close it all up. But what is it that you're doing when nobody's watching? Are you sitting there on t watching TV? Are you scrolling Facebook? And look, we're all guilty of this at times. But if we're looking at it as a majority sense, what are those things? You know, and I guess also be real with yourself. Like I've said before, be real with yourself as to where you are at life and where you want to be. Because then you'll start to see where you need to start the work, start doing some work. So, guys, if you got any value out of this, please like it, share it, comment it. And as said, if there's anybody out there that is um, unsure as to where to start with personal development, unsure what it is, like who some of the names out there, all of this sorts, and whether that's spiritual, emotional, mental, you know, all of that sort of stuff, I want to encourage you to reach out to me. Um, don't be shy. It's all good. Reach out to me and just let's have a conversation and I'll I'll point you in the right direction with a few things to, to get started on. So I wish you all a fantastic Friday, guys. And I will speak to you again over the weekend with no doubt. All right. Take care. See ya.